Breaking news, my wonderful people. It's happening. It's really happening. APC has just suspended um, pre presidential campaign kickoff indefinitely as Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu had to run to London for medical checkup. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu is traveled as jet out of the country uh, according to INEC timetable in a few hours from now campaign is supposed to begin okay where people come and tell you that uh, there will be free health care uh, children will go to school there will be no asshole strike during their tenure because they would prioritize education and what have you and so these are some of the things called campaign promises that you know they keep feeding at nigerians and at the end of the day most turns out to be lies the presidential candidate for the all progressive congress as she was met bola tinubu my dear he don't jet out so due to his no fault of east he need to look after himself to be able to because he's going to go from north to south east to west he need to be strong enough please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe may we understand the matter the ruling all progressive congress apc presidential campaign council has suspended the kick off of the campaign for the 2023 election originally slated for tomorrow wednesday the director general dg of the of the bola ahmed kashim shatima pcc that's the presidential campaign council who is also the governor of blair two state simeon leilong disclose this to politics nigeria in a statement on tuesday morning he said the adjour the adjustment of the timetable is to accommodate the growing interest shown by various political political interest group of being part of the party meanwhile other groups have said or reliable source has given us details that shiwaju ahmed bola tinubu is not in the country apc campaign members have hidden saying he has gone for consultations which should be well over done by now uh, rather he has gone for medical health check they don't want nigerians to be aware of the medical health check issue they have quote, quoted it saying he has gone for more consultation why campaign is supposed to begin tomorrow recall that we had earlier a mark a peace walk prayer for wednesday september the 28th to officially kick off the campaign for the 2023 of presidential election we had also announced the members of the campaign council reports f at the campaign headquarter today is that to collect the letters and those who have been appointed are to collect letters however this thing has not been so as the very person Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu is currently not in the country however due to the expansion of the list of accommodate least to accommodate more stakeholders and interests within apc family we have decided to adjourn the adjust the timetable of these activities in order to ensure everyone is on board before activities officially begins consequently the activity announced for 28th of september we no longer hold and is therefore suspended indefinitely now this suspension is going on as a result like i earlier reiterated to you ashiwaju ahmed bola tinubu is not around and you want to do party for uno days now now so the matter be you so ashiwaju ahmed bola tinubu is not around and so they cannot go ahead and, and you know have whatever they have decided to have on his behalf yes so these are some of the uh, issues trailing uh, apc right now so the whole campaign thing has been suspended indefinitely and we get to hear more about this okay as um, it will not you know we'll get to hear about this apc campaign we no longer hold okay it will no longer hold and you know the reason is not far-fetched our very own brother shiwaju ahmed bola Tinobu, is not around yes the guy is not around so things are quite different now you know so these are some of the things happening and um, it is high time everybody begin to take 
cue from what we need to do as a people what are we doing where is our allegiance we need to be very much assured of what we want to do and not wait for them to come and make us empty promises these promises has continued for more than 40 years and guess what we've not had a single government that has come in yes a few governors here and there have done their bid you know i mean we had a, we've had a few governors who has looked after their people and have kept to their promises but guess what most of these people i beg your pardon has been more has nothing have, have been nothing more than you know trouble because they, they give you the promises people are expectant just like we know ashiwajua made bola tinubu you know party buhari came in with lots of promises nigerians were so expectant looking forward to this day and are saying wow this i mean this is the best thing you know looking forward to it but guess what all of a sudden the whole thing things fall apart they say nobody could nobody could understand exactly what is going on can you see that you know the days of allowing some person some people to take over our leadership should be far over by now exactly so these are some of the things that are going on and why we all together with one accord must arise and ensure that we do not allow okay the same people over and over again to decide what happens to us because most of those people do not to a large extent even care about the masses they come there they do things that are par you know th that they, that is for them in respective of what happened to the people it ought not to be so yes sweetheart it ought not to be so so we need to begin to get our priorities right be sure of who we are voting for and do not allow ourselves to be to be you know to be persuaded to the left or to the right we must be very much assured and ready to ensure that we do that which is necessary and ensure that we do that which is absolutely right so that at the end of the day we can truly say you know we have done something for us so these are some of the things so that our roads can be good so that we can move ahead so that we can have you know a, 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 a country that we are proud of can you see all that is going on how do we continue like this how do we sit back fold our arms and pretend that all is well you and i know exactly what is happening you and i know that you know we have we know we know how much we've invested into all of this are we going to just sit back and do nothing are we just going to sit back and allow these people to continue in this way are we just going to sit back and allow them to continue in this way so the days of allowing people who have no iota of concern for this nation to be leaders should be over by now should be over by now you know this is these are days these are days where every one of us must begin to work and ensure that we have the right persons the right people in place of leadership because as it stands nigerians we cannot allow okay individuals who have no iota of concern to continue to be the ones leading us they have not done anything worthwhile for us they've continued to do things that promote them and their family not for the nation so how do we entrust a position as much as leadership of a whole country to these persons? They don't, they don't care. So leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.